tent cities are popping up all along the southern border as migrants from South America and as far away as Asia show up hoping to be granted asylum. But some are waiting days before being processed by U.S. officials. And this comes as Republican lawmakers insist on adding border security funding to the Biden administration's proposed foreign aid package to Ukraine and Israel. ABC's Maria Villarreal with the story. That is the official stadium point. Everything on this side of the land going towards the wall is public land. Everything on this side is private, including the road. It's hard to believe, but this is America, a place where a few bags of free blankets creates chaos. It's very hot today. At night, it can drop below freezing, and we have children sleeping outside. Some of them are sleeping in the dirt because we don't have enough resources to provide tents for everyone. This small piece of land near the border wall in Hakumba Hot Springs, California, is the latest landing site for migrants from all over the world. Todos son de Colombia. Colombia, ellos son Colombia, nosotros de Ecuador. Ecuador, aquí. Uh -huh. There are people from China, Africa, Colombia, sí, Turkey, Carlos, India. Carlos. The list is endless, and many are traveling with young children. Is this whole group from Russia? No. Вот эти вот люди. Некоторые из Узбекистана, некоторые из России, из Чечни. Узбекистан, Россия и Чечня? Чечня. Чечня. Every morning for the last three months, local resident Sam Schultz and a small band of volunteers cook up meals for more than 700 people camping out in three locations around Yakumba. Everything you see here in terms of shelter has been supplied by the volunteers yeah. through our various organizations that have been supporting our efforts. Nearby, Border Patrol processing facilities are overrun and shelters in San Diego are full, leaving agents in the field with limited options, relying on nonprofits like Al Otro Lado and volunteers like Sam to step in. These are places where Border Patrol brings migrants in who have turned themselves in and tells them to wait in these sites. Throughout the day, we watched smugglers make dozens of drop-offs near the wall, sending a stream of migrants into the camp. Likely this is where a lot of the migrant groups are coming through. You can actually tell that because of the evidence that's left behind, the clothing, the food wrappers, the water bottles. But on both sides of this wall, it's very evident. There is a very little law enforcement presence. You have a certain segment of the people that flew into Tijuana, and they've only been in Mexico for, you know, days. Usually they fly to Cancun and then they fly to Tijuana. These are Chinese nationals usually and Turkish people. But that's maybe 20%. The other ones are coming through South America, all the way up Central America by bus, most of them. Many migrants tell us agents have warned them not to leave. They are not able to go through official ports of entry because it's limited to people who've made an appointment through an app called CBP-1. That app is only available in English, Spanish, and Haitian Creole. And as you look around, you see a lot of people from countries that don't speak those languages. So folks really have no other choice but to seek safety in this way. Out here, the process is riddled with confusion. Who speaks English? So tell them, don't feel like I gotta be first. It doesn't matter. We watched as agents tried to hand out bracelets to the group so they could eventually pick them up in an orderly fashion for processing. And I thought that I'm coming here for yeah, better life or, or to, to, to be a human at least. Buses eventually show up for a few loads of migrants clearing out the camp. But by the afternoon, it swells up again. And with no end in sight, doctors are now volunteering inside the camp. Well, I'm trying to help them. I feel helpless, not able to give proper care, not able to completely help them because our resources are very limited. But these kinds of scenes are playing out all along the southwest border. This video, recently taken near the San Isidro Bridge in Southern California, showing a mass of people scaling the wall and then making their way to the road. A harrowing rescue in Texas captured, and then a mass of migrants staging near the border wall in Lukeville, Arizona, waiting to be processed. For months, the Biden administration has been pushing to get more funding for border security, trying to convey that more resources are needed to fight narcotics like fentanyl 
and actually manage migration. Is the headline here, we are struggling in this fight against fentanyl? I think the headline is, the headline here is, uh, we need additional resources to continue our fight against fentanyl. But Senate Republicans aren't buying it, tying border funds to aid for the war in Ukraine, and they are refusing to budge on their demands to tighten asylum standards and resume construction on the border wall. On this vote, the yeas are 49, the nays are 51. A vote earlier this week failed after weeks of heated negotiations. I'm more worried about our border than Ukraine. But people here in Hakumba caught in the middle, the migrants, the agents, and the volunteers, they don't care where the money comes from. They're just desperate for help. The cost of this is going to spread out throughout society, there's no question. There's just no way that you can deal with an influx of people like this without there being cost to society. Our thanks to Maria. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.